It's Friday the 17th of April and Borada to all my Welsh brothers and sisters. I was watching the account of the Welsh football team at the Euro Championships in 2016, so I've got some Welsh patriotic pride within me. My great-grandmother was Welsh, so there's something of the valleys in me. Now, we've been thinking this week about the opportunities which this strange season gives us to do some things that we might not otherwise do. The, for example, the opportunity to discover a new pace or rhythm of life, the opportunity to finish some unfinished tasks or jobs around the house or in, in our relationships to try and mend or repair some which perhaps might be broken or whatever. The opportunity to start a new hobby or activity or pick something up which we have left aside to use those gifts and talents which the Lord has given us. The opportunity to value what we don't have just now, those things which we are, we are missing at the moment, that freedom to go and do as we please, etc. And the opportunity to value what we do have, what we still have at the moment. But we also today are thinking about the opportunity which we have to spend time with the Lord. Now that's a strange thing to say in one sense because we know that as Christians we can pray to God at any time, at any place, whether we are in lockdown at home or whether we are out walking the dog or wherever we are. But somehow this has given us an opportunity to spend more time perhaps than we might otherwise do. It's interesting in Luke chapter 5 it said of Jesus... Um, that he spent time with his father and we used to withdraw to uh, places to pray. It says in chapter 5 verse 15, the news about Jesus spread all the more so that the crowds of people came to him and to be healed of their sicknesses. But Jesus often withdrew to lonely places and prayed. Jesus often withdrew. That uh, verb in the Greek is in the present continuous tense, which meant he was, he was continually withdrawing. He was continually taking out of his life to spend time with his father, to replenish his soul and his spirit, to commune with God. Now we have opportunity, as I say, to do that whenever we want to do that. But perhaps we've not been doing that as much as we should. And this is an opportunity during this season to readjust to refocus our lives, to reprioritize perhaps our lives, to realign. And God is giving us this, this time to be able to do that, to, to spend more time with him and to make that a greater priority once again in our lives so that when this season finishes and we go back to normal as it were, we can continue to often spend time with the Lord as he wants us to do, to cultivate a new prayer life. In, the, in that text which we've just read, the, the inference in the Greek text is that it was something which was as important as eating or sleeping. It was something which Jesus did continuously. I'm not sure if we look at that in quite the same way. Do we look at prayer as being something which is as important to us as eating or sleeping? Possibly not. But that's what it was to Jesus. It was absolutely essential. And my goodness, if it was important to him, how much more important is it to us? So we have this opportunity to draw apart, to take time, to do as First Thessalonians 5 says, and to pray unceasingly, to make that just a part of our life as important as eating and sleeping. In the New Testament later on, in Ephesians chapter 6, we read in verse 10, Finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. And then later it says in verse 18, And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. Again, this idea that we are continually in prayer. So Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. We take time during this season, to pray, to realign our prayer lives, to make sure that we are praying continuously and unceasingly, to make it a fact, a part of our lives, that we are always praying. Lord, forgive us for our prayerlessness and help us, Lord, to withdraw often to take this time. Lord, we thank you that we can commune with you, that you are here, that we don't need to go anywhere special, but that you are with us right now. Father, we love you. We draw from you all that we need for today and for these days. 
And we pray for all our brothers and sisters, for all those who love you and for all those who have not yet come into your family, that they would learn of you during this time. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day. Yachida.